Hey guys! Sorry for being on a little bit later today. Um, I have been so engrossed in this book that I've just discovered that I completely lost track of time today. So I apologize for being a little bit late. But um, in today's live stream, I'm going to be doing a Q&A for questions that have been sent in to me by you lovely people. And um, yeah, I'm gonna answer those. So let's get them to them. But first I'm gonna change the lighting because I don't like how this lighting looks on my face. Mm. Let's see if that's better. That's better, I don't look so tired. Okay, so questions. Man, this book that I've been reading. You know how like when you, um, Say like you're you're pretty happy with your personal development journey, right? And you're like, yeah, I've come a long way. I've done a lot of work. Like I'm I'm really happy with my progress. And then you discover new material and you read it and you feel like you <laughs> are starting all over again. Like you've you've learned nothing. That's how I'm feeling with this book. I love it. I've I'm my mind is being like blown wide open, but at the same time I'm like, oh, so much work to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway. On to the questions, let's get it going. The first question is, how do I get out of my own way to create a financially successful business? Well, you have to figure out how you're, like why you're getting in your own way. And what I find most of the time is that people are procrastinating because there is a fundamental belief that they aren't going to make it, that they're not able to do it. So they sabotage themselves with procrastination, with um, just not doing the work, right? So that's how you get out of your own way. You work on believing in yourself. You do the work anyway, even though you're scared, even though you might feel like an imposter, even though you feel like you're not, you're not good enough. You work through your stuff as you work on your business, right? Because what I've learned because when I started, I really didn't believe in myself. God, I hate how black my eye looks. It looks like I've gotten into a fight. Jeez. Um, so what I did with when I started my business, I didn't believe in myself. And like I started blogging, well, online business, like five years before I started House of Brazen. And it took that amount of time to be able to believe in myself. And so when I finally started House of Brazen, I was like, I know I can do this. I know it's possible for me. I fucking know I can do this. And so I did. And I was so committed and so disciplined. And I just, I, I like <laughs> railroaded all of my excuses, all of my obstacles, all of my blocks, because I had spent those five years building myself up over that time. So that's what I'd say you have to believe, uh, what you have to work on is believing in yourself. As simple as that is. <laughs> okay, next question. What do I have to let go of to make room, what do I have to let go of to make room to attract the things that I want? Um, I would say you, to attract the things you want, you would have to stop death gripping the thing that you want, right? <laughs> because usually that's why we're not manifesting the things we're trying to, like the big things we're trying to manifest that we have a lot of resistance to, it's probably because we're trying to control every ounce of it, so letting go is letting go of the death grip. And for that, you would have to work on trusting, like your trust between you and the universe, but your trust between you and the intangible, between you and something, a higher power, whatever that is, that's where you, your work is, it's in trusting. And that's like, that's what I've had to, to learn, like to believe that I am deeply supported by the universe, that the universe has my back, that no matter what, I am always taken care of by the universe, I am always provided for, no matter what happens, the universe has multiple ways for me to get, like, to bring me what I am wanting to manifest, to get me out of situations that are, um, that put me in danger, you know, like, the universe literally has my freaking back, no matter what, I'm supported, I'm loved, I'm guided, I'm nurtured, I'm taken care of all the time by the universe, and for me, it's a constant daily practice of work, like, living in that and feeling that and believing that that helps me to actually believe it so that's what I would recommend you what else I need to do is like work on the trust the, tr the trust between believing that the universe has your back yeah so that's what I recommend all right next question 
I'm struggling to believe, lots of belief questions today. I'm struggling to believe that I can turn my small side hustle into a genuine business that brings in enough money to quit my part-time job. What's the one thing I can do to ensure self-belief? Same thing. You have to work on the self-belief and work on believing in your ability to create a different reality for you, especially because you 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 haven't taken that path. So it's it's hard to perceive from it, but it doesn't mean you can't. And how you can perceive from it is you go into working on your mind every day, working on visualizing what you want. Sorry about the plane in the background. Um, you work on visualizing what you want. You work on feeling the feelings of having what you want and it being here now and you do that all the time so you're closing that gap between you and your belief because the truth is you can turn your side hustle into a full-time business you can there are so many people who've already gone before you and done this exact same thing you can you can <laughs> like there's no reason you can't there's absolutely no reason that you can't so yeah work on that hopefully that helps <laughs> Um, next question is, how do I gain clarity on what I truly want in life? Good question. Great question. For me, it has always been about noting and paying attention to the experiences in my life that makes me, that has made me feel the most elevated, the most alive, the most on purpose, the most coherent, the most congruent with who I believe that I am right? And you'll have those moments throughout your life where it could be like the smallest event, but there was something that really stood out to you that made you think this, there's something about this moment, this, this feeling, this is how I want to feel. This is important. This is something here and noting that down. And I think it's, um, is it Steve Jobs who says you, you can't connect the dots looking forwards. You can only connect them looking backwards. So if you take those moments throughout your life where you felt that feeling of it being like a higher kind of purpose thing, then you can connect the dots of what your purpose really is. Another thing that Gary Vaynerchuk says that I completely agree with is experiment. You can't really figure out what you love to do or what you're passionate about or what your purpose is without experimenting and going down a few dead ends to find out, oh yeah, I'm not as passionate about that as I thought I was. Like for me, I thought I wanted to work and travel Oh, I thought, first of all, I thought I wanted to be an actor. And I pursued that for a couple of years. For, I think, longer than that. More than a couple of years. Like, the decade, maybe. All up. And then I got to this point where I was like, you know, I'm just not as passionate about this as I thought I was. Like, I really am not. So, I don't want to do it anymore. And then I discovered business. And it turns out I really liked it, even though I thought that I wouldn't. Um, and there was a moment there where I wanted to, I thought I wanted to work and travel. And so I went back to school and I got like a qualification in, I can't even remember what it was, in travel. And I could be a wholesale travel consultant. And I got a job at my dream company, the company I had my eyes set on, like my heart set on. I got a job there, I got my foot in the door and I fucking hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. Within four months I'd quit. So yeah, that was just like, I. it was necessary for me to go down that road. So I never, like, I wasn't wondering what if, um, which inevitably brought me here to this, which is running this business, business that I love helping you guys. So that's what I think. Okay. Next question. How do you stay focused on getting one large goal accomplished? So, oh, <laughs> you just like it has to be for me, if it's a large goal, I pretty much focus every single thing that I have on this goal, on achieving it. Whether that is, whether I, like whether that's me trying to manifest something like um, Houston, I always use Houston as an example, like my amazing trip that I deliberately manifested, I focused everything on that trip being amazing, right? I focused on the f how it would feel every day, the feelings that I would feel inevitably once it happened, right? Um, for my business, what I focused on was just, like I said, making money. That's what my main focus was. It's like, I want to make a full-time living, so that is what I'm going to focus on. I'm gonna focus on the money-making tasks, and that's all I focused on. 
until I basically got there, making a full-time living, which I make more than a full-time living now. However, I don't focus on the money so much anymore. I focus on what I'm passionate about because the money is there and I've built up that uh, trust, knowing that the money is always coming. I also have the systems in there and it's become more about my purpose now. What What is meaningful to me? And it, ironically, you make more money when you it becomes about that. <laughs> So hopefully that helps. Uh, next question. How many years of hustle and hard work went before I, me, achieved the level where I earned a full-time income from affiliate marketing or digital products? Okay, so I started House of Raisin in 2016, quit my job within six months, within a year I was making a full-time income. However, five years before 2016, I was learning about online business. I was trying different blogs, trying different niches <laughs> and learning. We're making a little, little, little bit of money and failing, but learning so much, right? Uh, my first website was a website about wedding dresses and I um, was an affiliate for different wedding dress companies. So I sold wedding dresses on this website. Um, but the, the, hosting company I signed up through was had like an extensive training program that taught me everything about social media, SEO, um, content, uh, it would like, what would you call it? Was it deep linking or whatever? Like how to get the most out of your articles. It taught me everything, like every, all the foundational stuff that I needed to know. And then as I started to learn more about blogging and I would learn about blogging through different resources and I would try different niches like DIY and then I would go into lifestyle blogging and then I wanted to talk about manifestation, then I wanted to do marketing, then I wanted to do money mindset. Funny, I tried to do money mindset but I went off it. Um, and, and yeah, I tried all these different niches, self-help, self-love, personal development. And then I eventually settled on starting teaching about business because I'd learned so much about building an online business in that time, which was great. Um, and now I'm actually talking about money mindset and stuff and that's far more important to me now, which is great. Yay. So all in all, it took me five years to start House of Brazen, but to be full time, it took six. Your journey doesn't have to be that long. For me, it just took a while because I was like going back and forth, changing my mind, <coughs> working with my own belief about myself and whether I could do it. And there were a couple of years where I didn't even blog at all. Like I went off and went into travel because I thought, oh, maybe that's what I want to do. But in the back of my mind, I was always like, I'm going to come back to blogging and I'm going to make this work. And I did. So that's how long it took. Hopefully that uh, helps. <laughs> um, one more question or two more maybe. Best way to get my products out there. Okay, there is no best way because there are multiple ways that are the best way. Like, there's so many ways to get your product out there. It's literally impossible for you not to be able to succeed. Like, that's what I honestly think. It, there's, it's so fucking easy now to make money that there is no reason you should fail at all. At all. When it comes to the systems, when it comes to marketing, when it comes to doing the thing, there's no reason you should fail. Um, the only thing that would I 100% believe that would hold you back is you and your own stuff, right? Um, so the best way, it depends on you and what you like doing. I make great money off Pinterest, but I also make great money off email marketing. I also make great money off affiliates. You know, there's multiple ways, but it's not going to be the same for everyone and you've got to find what you like to do for you. Yeah. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> um, and maybe one more. These are more business questions than, uh, money mindset, but it's good. It's good. I haven't done many business questions. Um, 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 What question should I end with? What question should I end with? Um, how to line out all the steps to get from vision to marketed product. I don't know if I answered this in one of my Q and A's. 
but basically like that just that is exhausting to me like lining it all out me i just make the thing write the ebook have the screenshots like just write whatever i want to say and then just sell it to my audience launch it to my email list that's all i do like i do not i'm not a planner not a very good planner at all um i just do it or i pre-sell it to my audience to see if they um if it's a thing that they actually want and if i make sales then yeah it is if i don't then i don't make it <laughs> simple okay i think that is all for today it is quite late so it's quite dark in here but um yeah so that's it that's what i'll i'll leave uh in today with a nice short one today because yesterday was really long um and also i want to go to my grandmother's and get some of her baking she baked today so i'll get some <laughs> uh i love having a grandmother that's right next door so yeah that's all for me today if there are any questions that you have for me that you would like me to answer in these live streams please like add them like pop them in the uh comment section and then i can add them in future live streams um also if you got any value out of this please share it with your friends or if like there's someone you know who's like trying to start a business or change their mindset please share this live stream with them i would appreciate that so much and what else other than that i think i'm i think we're good we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I will see you tomorrow.